We start off by going to the public application for building Brunel, brunelviz.org slash try. And now we're going to upload a data set consisting of the Doctor Who villains taken from the Guardian's public data sets. Whenever we load a new data set into Brunel, it tries to match the fields from the new data set into the fields from the old one to create an overall chart. It does a pretty good job here, but we need to modify a couple of the fields just to make it a, a little bit better again. In Brunel, you can just edit the text and then press the return and it'll automatically reprocess it and rebuild your new chart. Now I can try some variations, for example by splitting up the bubble chart into a more hierarchical version. Yeah, they're a little bit small. Uh, maybe adding some tooltips will help, or modifying the tooltips to be a little more specific. No, you know, I'll leave the tooltips, but I think I'll get rid of that motivation. That looks pretty good overall. Maybe one final thing, I'll just resort them so that the earliest villains are in the center of the chart, the oldest villains at the edges. Yep, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I'll go off to publish this on my WordPress site. So let me go off to the deployment stage. I'll publish this as an iframe, which means it's going to be interactive and uh, fully operational within my WordPress site. Let me head off to brunelviz.org. Create a new post. To put the iframe in the page, all I need to do is paste it in here and then edit it a little bit. Uh, WordPress doesn't like pure HTML, um, so I'm using a plugin for iframes. I just need to reformat it to make that work. A little bit more text and we should be ready to go. Okay, looking pretty good. Yep, all interaction. It's uh, working as it should do. I'm ready to go and add some more text and turn this into a real article.